everyone. I am uh, servicing my rear brake pads because I was sensing a little bit of noise going on here. Um, uh, yes, this is uh, something you can do, but you'd have to get uh, VCDS or VADCOM to do it. Um, unfortunately, I didn't uh, show you the whole uh, procedure here. But this is the entire uh, caliper system on the back. Just without, hopefully I can do this without shaking my hands shaking. But that's the uh, caliper right here. That's the electronic parking brake situation and the thing sucks back in. Then you can pull this thing off. I'll let you see right over here. If you need to service the rotors, that'll be uh, another step, but I'm just checking my pads for the life. I only have like 15,000 miles on it, and you can see the pads are a long ways to go. But I was getting some noise, so I used some CRC, or whatever they call that, CRC brake quiet stuff, and you know, sprayed the tacky after I used a little brake cleaner on the back and cleaned them up. Um, it's pretty simple. You know, I got the VADCOM instructions right there. Got the VADCOM plugged in. They say to have a trickle charger plugged in while you're doing that. And so, I do have a trickle charger running it. So not to get any fault or error codes in the process that was like 20 bucks <laughs> um, anyways I'm gonna go back here and explain that um, you just need a what is this a seven millimeter um, hex hex uh, to remove the assembly here see those bolts right there there's one here, and there's one down there, and that screws into here. See the bracket right here for the calipers? They screw on both ends here. So you got these uh, little plastic caps that actually cover the back of the uh, caliper. You just pop these out, and then you stick you know, whatever Allen tool you have. Honestly, it felt like it was only on like maybe 15 foot pounds, so you don't really need a socket version if you don't have it. You know, just a good long L hex nut that go in there, seven millimeter, and just and put it on there. But if you wanted to service the rotors, I see you have to get back here, and it looks like some, let's see where I can find it here. Oh, there's one. See, there's one right there. And there's another one down below. That's a, I think that's a, I forgot what size, Torx bit, or triple square. That is, you have to remove those. And then you can basically remove these brackets out of the way. And then of course, I'm gonna remove my spacers and everything. You have to use a, what, T30, I guess that is, right there, and impact that off. Then your rotor should be able to come off after you remove the two triple squares in the back and got that off, and then you have a Torx bit here. I know, it's crazy. So, to do a brake job, to, like, replace your rotor's pads, you need a hex, triple square, and a Torx. Man. I love Volkswagen, and I mean that sarcastically. Compared to my Subaru, this this is a it's a pain in the butt, you know, just to do a brake job, and you have to you know follow procedures so you don't uh, mess up your um, parking brake motor assembly, which I understand is uh, pretty vital, you know, for stopping. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is uh, I've already sprayed this and put this together, you know, so I'm just going to. You know, line these things. They got little ears on them, so you almost can't miss where they're supposed to go. It's almost like plug and play in that sense. See, they go like that. The ears. 
and then I'll put the other side on the other. And then um, since this is open electronically by the VADCOM, I could just slip that back on. I will um, run the code in front of you just to show you what it does and uh, pump the brakes and then I should be able to rock and roll. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you. It was pretty simple. You just slip that caliper I had sitting on there back onto the two pads after I set it. And uh, um, ooh, let's try to get a little more focus. You'll see the caliper actually hits where that T shape of the pad is. So you know you're in the right alignment. And like I said, it was just a matter of using the um, what is this? Um, number seven millimeter, seven size uh, hex, and putting it back here, lining it up. Make sure you, I, I would hand, suggest you definitely hand guide these in to the bracket. Same with that one. And then just tighten it down. I, I, I feel like I'm just guesstimating, but um, I didn't see anything online exactly. But I mean, I've done a few brake jobs. I mean, it's, it's probably like 18 foot pounds of torque. It's not going to come undone. After you're done, then you just got these caps on here. Just stick them. See? Just keep the dust out. At least that's a pretty smart feature instead of leaving the things exposed. So those caps just go back in. And that's it. And it's just a matter of putting the wheel on. And with the CRC instructions, I drive slowly, you know, do about eight, 8 to 10 braking things. Oh, yeah, I put the caliper back on. I'm going to show you the VC uh, DS All right, mode guys, right now. Here we go. I got my uh, trusty computer here. Oop, I got to look from underneath here. Where's my VADGOM? I have that open right now. Um, so going back to the, you know, main screen. Of course, first make sure you have your keys nearby the ignition. Turn just the ignition to the on position. Go over here. I would select program options. Com test. Make sure, you know, you're connected. It says connected, status okay. Um, that turned from red to green, showing green, green go, which made sense. We're gonna go okay. Um, per instructions, save. Uh, we're going to go to select control modular. You can see that thing working. Red, green, red, green, red, green. Communicating. There we go. Oh, the radio turned on. <laughs> That's a VCDS little thing going on. Okay, we'll go to ABS brakes. Um, let it do its little reading thing. Once these configurations come up, go to basic settings. We want to drop down and go to start lining control modular, I believe. And uh, uh, I'm just going to make sure. See, here's the instructions on here. You, 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 you can't mess this stuff up if they got instructions. See? Instructions. It says that. Go. Basic settings. Calipers. Then close. Wait 30 seconds after it says not ready. Okay. So we make sure. So we go like this. Start lining control. Hit go. You have to wait 30 seconds. It says ABS basic and engine lining changing mode. Did I do it wrong? Let's see, wait, let's see, stop here. Oh, I'm supposed to hit end. See, I told you. That's why it didn't work. You gotta follow instructions. End. Now go. Let's see if I hear some noise. There it goes. There it goes. You folks hit it. Hear that? <laughs> My bad, guys. Read the instructions. I like to do this firsthand. This is the first time I've done this, honestly, guys. That's why, obviously, it didn't go smooth, right? So right here, wait 30 seconds. See, this is like trial and tribulations. So that's why it didn't do anything. I, obviously, you hit, you hit VCS, you hit the uh, 
start line in control mode, that actually opened it up, and that's what I did, and then I heard the sound as confirmation. Right now, end. So I'm waiting 30 seconds here before I hit done. Done, done. Hit done and control back. That's pretty self-explanatory. Except you gotta read. When you get a little ahead of yourself, it's not good. So right now, it's still blinking red, green, red, green, red, green. So after 30 seconds, I'm basically going to put the wheel back on and uh, hit done and then just close down VCDS. And we'll put all this stuff back together and I'll go for a little drive. I hope this was uh, somewhat informative. Thanks for watching.